In this video, we would see what are std in, std out, and std error in Linux, and also how they are used. std in, std out, and std error are also called standard input, standard output, and standard error. These are data transfer streams. These are used to transfer text data. So when we execute a Linux command or a process, these are attached to that process. So the text data will be given to the command via the standard input stream and the output of this command or a process will be fed to the outputs via the standard out and the standard error streams. So we have a separate stream for output as well as the error. So by default, if we don't specify any file as the input for a command, then the input will be taken from keyboard. That means the text data will be fed into the standard input stream from the keyboard. If we specify a file, then the text data from the file will be fed into the standard input stream and will be given to the command. Similarly, the output of another command also can be given to the command via standard input stream. When the command is executed, the output of the command can be sent into a terminal or a file or another command input. So these will be done via standard output and standard error streams. So by default, if we don't specify any output, the terminal will be the output. Then if we specify a file, the data from the standard output stream will be fed into the file. But by default, the standard error stream will be fed into the terminal itself unless we mention the standard error to be sent into a file. And also the standard output can be sent into the other command input as well. And this standard input, standard output and standard error, these are treated as files in Linux. That is why we attach file descriptors to these data streams. For example, 0 is assigned to standard input, 1 is assigned to standard output, and 2 is assigned to standard error. Now we would use the standard input, standard output, and standard error streams in Linux commands. So let us start. This is a Linux command. For example, if we execute a cat command, so when we don't provide any input, it will expect data from standard input stream. If I press enter here, so it is expecting data from standard input stream. Since we also don't specify the input file name, the keyboard data will be fed into the standard input stream. So if I press high, then this high data will be entered into the standard input stream and the cat will read that data. So if I press enter, cat will read this data and also it will provide the output to the terminal. So because we did not specify any output file as well. So if I press enter, we should see I in the terminal. Now we have seen I in the terminal. Similarly, if I type hello, then hello will be printed to terminal. This way, the cat will read the data from standard input and it will provide the data to standard output. Here, uh, by default, the standard input and standard output are keyboard and terminal because we did not specify any file names. Now, for example, let me create a text file. So here I entered data hello inside the text file. So now if we specify the input as text file. So here we are using the test.txt as the input and we are giving the symbol as less than here. This indicates the standard input stream. That means the data from the test.txt will be fed into the standard input stream and cat will read that data. So if I press enter, now we can see hello because the cat reads the data from standard input which is the data of test.txt and since we don't specify any output file, the output file, the output data is given to the terminal. For example, if I specify output also, like here I am specifying test1.txt as the output of the cat command. That means the standard output stream will be fed to the test1.txt. So if I enter now we can see the content of this test1.txt. We can see hello because the standard output stream was fed into the test1.txt instead of terminal. So here in another example, I am taking test3.txt. This file does not exist. So now the cat should give the error. So if I press enter, the error will be sent to the standard error stream. So since the standard error stream by default will send the data to the terminal, we should see the error in the terminal. Now we can see the output in the terminal itself. 
this is the data from the standard error stream. Now, here since test.txt has data and also test3.txt does not exist, now we should get both error as well as output. So, if I don't give any output file here, both will be sent to the terminal. So, let us enter. So, if I press enter, we can see both output as well as error in the terminal. So, if I want to send the output to a file and error to the terminal, we can execute the same command here. Here I have to use one because this file descriptor indicates standard out and that one I will send it to test4.txt. And since I am not specifying any descriptor for standard error, it should be sent to the terminal itself. If I press enter, now we will see only the error in the terminal and the output will be sent to test4.txt. Here we can see the only error in the terminal. So, if I cat test4.txt now, we should see the output. So, that is hello. And also here I am giving 2, which is the file descriptor corresponding to standard error. I will give test5.txt. Now, we should not see any data in the terminal because we are sending both standard output as well as standard error to different files. Let us execute. Now, we did not see any output in the terminal. Now, we can see cat test4.txt which should contain hello and cat test5.txt which should contain the error data. We can also send both the standard output and standard error streams to a single file by using end. So, if we specify end, it will send the data from both streams to a single file. So, here I am specifying test6.txt. Now, if I cat test6.txt, we can see both the as well as error data. We can also use one more command for sending both to a single file. Here I am sending the output to test7.txt and if I specify 2 and if I specify end 1 here, so this, this indicates the standard error stream will be fed into the same as the standard output stream. That means if we write the standard output to a file, the standard error data also will be sent to the same file. So, if we execute this, the cat test7.txt should print both. Now, we can see hello as well as error. We can also specify vice versa. So, here the standard output stream will be sent to the same output as standard error stream. That means, since by default, the standard error stream will be sent to the terminal, now we should see both the data as well as error to the terminal instead of test7.txt. So, let us try to execute now. Now, we can see both hello as well as the error are sent to the terminal. So, this way we can use the standard input, standard output and standard error streams to transfer data while executing Linux commands. And one more thing we have to understand that uh, all the commands may not read data from standard input stream. For example, echo command if I press echo high, it will print high. But actually, this command is not reading from the standard input stream. For example, if I specify a standard input stream something like this, it will not print anything because echo command will not read any data from standard input stream. So, if we execute this, it should not print anything. So, we can see that it does not display any data because it is not reading from standard input. Similarly, if I specify echo hello, and if we specify the pipe, that means we are sending this out uh, to a standard input of another command. For example, if I specify cat here, now we should see hello in the terminal. So, because cat can read the data from standard input stream. But if I specify cat, so here even though the output of cat test.txt fed into the standard input stream of echo command, since echo command cannot read the standard input stream, we cannot see any data in the terminal. If we execute it, we cannot see any data. So, this way we can use standard input, standard output and stand, standard error data streams in Linux commands. I hope this video is useful to you. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching.